What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today <sighs> Representation representation when you hear people asking for representation demanding representation and all of this other nonsense what you need to understand is that those people do not believe what they're asking for because they are looking for special treatment because representation already exists in entertainment in media everywhere pretty much representation is there so when you hear people saying they need more representation we need to have more they don't mean it they just mean that they want to play the victim and they're always going to move the goalpost. They're always going to change the rules when it applies to their victimization. Here we have someone I will I am going to blur their name out because they will play the victim if I highlight them, even though this tweet has kind of gone viral at this point. But look at this right here, okay? Now, when you go to a horror movie, what do you expect to see? You, you expect to see people getting killed, right? How many times have we seen a straight couple get killed in a movie? Plenty of times. Happens every time there's a horror movie, right? Every time. But yet now, here we have gay and LGBTQ representation that they constantly ask for. We want to be treated like equals. We want to be treated just like any other person. Then it happens, and what do they do? They play the victim. Because they don't actually want the thing that they ask for. So here, warning gays and LGBTQ people going to see it too. The opening scene involves the brutalization of two gay men and the murder of one of them. I felt sick and it threw off my entire movie experience. I just want you to be aware. I am not saying don't see the movie. I am simply warning those who may be harmed by it. This tweet will now be muted. F all the people who had something negatively to say about it or myself. As for those who thanked me, I'm glad I could help. That kept me strong through all of this hate. Wow. <laughs> Now, <laughs> this person's uh, profile is, uh, what the F is going on here in this day? Gay, Mexican, Black Lives Matter, feminist, philosopher, writer, bitch, he, him. Okay. Now, how about this one? Warning for IT Chapter 2, homophobia verbal and physical, domestic abuse, suicide, vomit, scenes, lots of stabbing, lots of blood, lots of jump scares, multiple character deaths, really effing sad. It's a horror movie. You're actually pointing out that there is lots of stabbing, lots of jump scares, Multiple character deaths, vomit scenes, domestic abuse. And of course, you have to add the homophobia aspect into it. <sighs> Again, this is a classic example of why we do not acknowledge these people and their ideas because their ideas do not actually reflect their beliefs. What they are looking for is special treatment. They want to be treated like they are a special case. They don't want equality. They don't want representation. They want you to act like they are better than you. Because this is how their victimization narrative has infected their minds. They are career victims. They are lifelong victims. And no scenario is ever going to make them happy. So no matter how much you give them, no matter how much you pander to them, they will always find something else to be victimized by. And this is what Hollywood is continuing to do. Always pandering to these people, and these people are always going to whine about something. You give them a, a scenario that has been in literally pretty much every horror movie where there's a straight couple, and I haven't seen It Part 2, 
it is in the book, by the way, this scene. Um, I haven't seen it part two, but I'm assuming it's a scene with two gay men doing their thing and there's a murder. Okay. That's happened for a straight couple in every major hack and slash horror movie. If you've ever seen Friday the 13th, if you've ever seen Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, Halloween, it happens. Yet when you give these people the representation they want, they find a way to victimize themselves with the thing that they asked for in the first place. They don't want equality. They want special treatment. Uh, I I like the first It movie. Um, I, I guess I, I, I don't know why I haven't seen It Chapter 2. But now because we have the SJWs crying about it, I'm definitely going to make a point to go see It Chapter 2. Um, this weekend, if I can't, actually, I'll be in, I'll be in Indiana this weekend, uh, for sports wars for geeks and gamers. So if you're in, uh, West Lafayette, Louisiana, uh, Louisiana, West Lafayette, Indiana, um, hit me up on Twitter because we're going to be at the Purdue TCU, TCU game. And we're going to be covering that. We're going to be on the sidelines. We're going to have media press credentials. It's going to be awesome. And we're looking forward to that. Um, but, uh, maybe sometime this week I can go see it chapter two. But yeah, these people are crazy, man. Like again, this is this is the entire premise of my stance on this channel for the most part is that these are the type of people that are affecting entertainment and these are the type of people that the entertainment industry is listening to and why? Why do you listen to people that you'll never satisfy? Why do you listen to people that are always going to change the rules as it applies? Once you give them what they want, they change it into something else. They're never going to be happy. They're never going to be satisfied. So stop giving in. It's an endless rabbit hole of victimization, just like I always say. So don't give in. Anyway, have you seen It Chapter 2? What did you think? Were you offended by the opening scene of equality? Uh, let me know. Have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.